All right. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's K. So this is the 7th of February, 2022 on Monday. So I just came back home from outside because uh, I went to post office to get the, uh, the PO box. So now I get the key for the PO box and uh, just came back and uh, I'm about to screen the charts. So, so basically I was away from the charts because uh, they were all retracing and ranging. So uh, I didn't really screen charts. Maybe just once today in the morning. And uh, basically I left the charts. So this is my second time screening chart today. So uh, let's see what's happening right now. Okay, so... Yeah, let me uh, switch the screen. Okay, and... Uh, yeah, before starting here, just as usual, uh, this content is all based on my own experience. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And also, this is live stream. So if you can please follow the rules and guidelines, that will be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. So uh, yeah, so today's live stream, sorry, I wasn't able to announce it beforehand because I just came back home about five minutes ago and because I was outside and get the PO box. So finally, I got the PO box key. So uh, it will be ready soon. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So let me switch to trading view and see what's happening right now. And this is Monday and we don't have big news today. So I expect the markets will be quiet, but uh, yeah, if I if I see some trending pairs, trending markets, then I still take it from Monday. So I don't usually, uh, you know, uh, I'm not really picky about uh, which market to trade or which time which time zone to trade. Uh, even if I see trending pairs on Monday, then I still take them. So, uh, yeah, so let me switch to trading view. Okay, and uh, yeah, I was actually watching the cryptocurrency Ethereum, which is going up right now. And also uh, Bitcoin is also going up. But uh, yeah, let's see. Let me turn to trading view uh, for pairs. And uh, yeah, let me just uh, put this in one screen so that we can see the bigger picture okay and so I'm ready now so let me say hi to everyone first all right Asif thank you for joining great to see you again and Neil Sam good to see you and James good to see you too thank you for joining and uh, uh, Jitendra good to see you all right thank you for joining Rashmi also good to see you too yeah, I got a bit of peace, yes. <laughs> I'm in peace now. So, just came back home about five minutes ago. Yeah, so after I went to the post office, I, I uh, stopped by at the beach and I was enjoying the sunset with a coffee. So, uh, that was a very relaxing day today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sue, good to see you. Suresh, hello Suresh, good to see you. Welcome back here. Good to see you again. All right, TikTok. Kevin Fibonacci, good to see you too. Marcus Adam and Sohel, good to see you too. All right. So here is Euro USD daily chart. And what do you see here now is this is retracing. The market reached up to the resistance uh, last Friday at 1.14816 level. And today it's retracing backwards. So uh, now Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So it may retrace continuously back to Kijun Sen. You know, this is about one of the Ichimoku natures is that whenever you see Kijun Sen flat, the market tends to retrace back to Kijun Sen. And which was happening previously like this. Every time the market takes off from Kijun Sen, when Kijun Sen went flat, it retraced backwards. And here too, afterwards, 
after the Kijun Sen breakout, when Kijun Sen went flat, the market retraced backwards. So this time, it may retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. So to me, Euro USD is bearish right now on the lower time frames. But uh, once the market breaks the resistance of 1.1481 level, then it may continue to go up. So until the breakout happens, I will simply stay away from Euro USD today. Yep. Okay, I do see many more people coming here. Thank you for joining everyone. H. Uh, Heras, good to see you. Adiyeye, good to see you too. Thank you for joining. Arin, good to see you too. And one slow 58, good to see you too. Good morning. All right, PIK, thank you for joining. Great to see you here too. All right, Marcus, thank you for joining as well. Once again, good to see you. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. Thank you. Yes, I'm feeling much, much better. I was having cough after the COVID, but I think now cough is um, a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, easing and it's kind of going away. So, uh, yes, I feel much, much better. Yes. You know, when I was at the beach, I was at the beach today, you know, I was drinking coffee and I was drinking uh, Turkish coffee. And I didn't really know what Turkish coffee was, but I just took a chance to try something new and it turned out that the it was like espresso and uh, it was very strong. So I feel something strange in my stomach right now, but other than that, I'm just fine. <laughs> yeah, I like to try something new to see some, you know, new culture. So uh, I think it was very nice experience. I took the picture, so uh, I will post it on my Twitter sometime later. But uh, yeah, it was very nice. Nice sunset, a nice beach, nice coffee. So that was a very good, relaxing environment. Yeah, let's see. Kishore, good to see you. Thank you for joining. All right, Jamie says, was looking at Euro USD for retracement to Kijun Sen on the daily time frame. Looking at the 30-minute chart, for trade but now in the range okay let me check AUD USD then um let's see so I just came back home about five minutes ago so I need to screen all the charts so here is euro uh, sorry AUD USD and uh right now daily chart is flat and let's see forever chart is also now flat ranging but uh yeah, as you mentioned, looks like market is retracing back to Kijun Sen. But uh, if I this, if I see this market situation, I think the pips to Kijun Sen is too tight. This is, um, hold on, let's see. This is yeah, like 40 or 41 pips to the Kijun Sen in the daily, and this is relatively a bit tight for the retracement. So uh, if this is more than let's say 70 pips or 80 pips then you can cap the retracement like from uh 28th of january the market was retracing and from this date um it retraced all the way back to uh kijun sen and that was yeah more than 100 pips so if you have enough room like 80 pips 70 pips to to uh, kijun sen i think that's ideal to trade for the retracement but uh yeah today's case i think this is a bit too tight so i would prefer to stay away in this case so uh yeah let me check some other parts now euro aud is up in the daily but today it's retracing so no trade chance right now I think, uh, yeah, forward chart is retracing back to Kijun Sen. So you may be able to look for the sell chance. But uh, let's see how many pips to Kijun Sen. This is, this is, yeah, 83 pips. And this is enough pips to trade. So, uh, yeah, if you see downtrend in the lower time frames, I think that will be better to sell. So uh, let's go down to one hour. Okay, in one hour chart, uh, we we already captured there was a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen dead cross and Chikou Span breakout. So 
we just have to wait for the Kumo break uh, to sell or to be safer, I would wait for the Kijun Sen to come below Kumo to sell. And it may take time. It may not happen today. So I will even go down to 30 minute chart. In 30 minute chart, um, the Sanyuk Gyakuten was already happening. And uh, uh, the only thing we have to wait for is the Kijun Sen come out of the Kumo and sell. So I think uh, we can follow Euro AUD 30 minute chart. We can monitor Euro AUD 30 to look for the selling edge and target to be Kijun Sen in the forward chart, which is 1.60. And it just happened to be an exact number, round number, 1.6. So I think in that sense also, this is a good target. So I will just put the horizontal line on that level. And that will be the target. I expect the market to continuously go down this way. So that's Euro AUD. Um, so let me see. Let me see what other markets are doing today okay euro pound euro pound let's see daily chart is now retraced back to kijun uh, back to kumo so yeah last week i was expecting the market break support of 0 0.8304 level but uh it was actually supported and after the news big news last week on euro and pound the market went all the way up so now it's at the kumo and i don't think there will be a big move from here or it may once the market breaks kumo then um it may reach the top of top of this uh channel so uh yeah with that in mind i'm watching the forward chart and now it's going flat so yeah no trade for myself i simply wait for the Kijun Sen turn turn bullish goodbye. Yeah, so that's Euro Pound. Oh, okay, so Neil is just asking about the Euro Pound, so that is my analysis for this one. So uh and when the Kijun Sen is flat like this in the forward chart, I don't even look at the lower time frames unless it's retracing back to Kijun Sen. Looks like still this is uptrending because the market is above Tenkan Sen. So to me, this is still bullish, but uh, we have to wait for the Kijun Sen to turn bullish. And most likely, it happens after the breakout of the resistance at 0 0.8479 level. Because, you know, Kijun Sen takes high and low for the last 26 candles. And this candlestick right now, if you count back 26, that will be... Here, um, 1st of February at 10 a.m. UTC. So Kijun Sen's currently taking the low uh, on the 3rd of February and high for today. So in Kijun Sen is the mid price. If you, if I just draw the hor horizontal line on this uh, lowest price for the last 26 and highest price for the last 26. And if I take the Fibonacci level, then you will see the uh, Kijun Sen is exactly in the 50% because this is the mid price for the last uh, high and low for the last 26 candles. So, uh, and from here, there are two, there will be two conditions where Kijun Sen turns bullish. And one is when low gets higher. So, when Kijun Sen takes not this low, but the second low which is here, then that will make Kijun Sen turn bullish. But for that to happen, uh, you know, while, while the market goes continuously, goes into the range without breaking the resistance, um, Kijun Sen start to take this second previous high. Um, let's see how many hours after. It's going to be uh, 13 hours after. So, most likely it happens tomorrow if the market doesn't renew higher, but Kijun Sen goes up 
next time. So, I think this is too bullish. So, most likely, uh, not that the market, not that the low renews higher, but instead, I think high renews higher is quicker and faster, which can happen next time. So, that's why I say I simply wait for the breakout and when it breaks, that will make Kijun Sen turn bullish because mid price gets higher and the Kijun Sen will turn bullish and then I look for the buy chance for sure. So looks like right now it's range. So every time you see the Kijun Sen flat, uh, there is a chance that the market retrace all the way back to Kijun Sen. So we better stay away in this case. But uh, so simply, I wait for the market breaks. Um, the resistance of 0.8478 and start to look for buy chains. So what I do here is, I uh, usually I put the alert slightly above that level, maybe 0.8488 level, 10 pips above. And then I put the alert. And once the alert triggers, I will come back to the chart and see if we can find the confirmations to buy from there. So that I can save time without keep monitoring hard until the market breaks resistance. So that's what I usually do. So alert is set and once it triggers within today's live stream, then we can come back to this chart. Otherwise, we simply focus on other markets to trade. Yeah, so let's see. Let me check some other markets now. Hello, David. Good to, good to see you. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining. All right, and Marcus also, thank you for joining as well. He says, uh, Kaysen, do you wait for Chikou Span to break Kumo 2 or Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen and candle breaks Kumo is enough for you? Uh, I would say yes, uh, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen and candle breaks Kumo is just enough. It's just enough. Uh, Chikou Span doesn't have to break Kumo um, to, for the uptrend or downtrend confirmation. Yeah, Chikou Span still can be within the Kumo, but make sure that Chikou Span above candles when it's bullish and below, below candles when it's bearish, and that's fine. All right, let me continue to cover some other comments now. Holman, thank you for joining. And Steve, welcome back. Thank you for joining as well. Great to see you here, as always. All right, let's see. John Harris says, Kaysen, I took two more trades today based on the five minute chart, both were in profit. I utilized Ichimoku on the daily, although most were arranging a paper trade account, so learning how to trade on sideways market. It has been effective for me with the stochastics and support resistance in the five minute chart. Just need to master the price action. Oh, that's good, that's good. Uh, usually I don't trade in the range market because it's not really time efficient for me. So I always trade when the market is trending in higher time frame based on Ichimoku trend analysis. But uh, yeah, you can trade in the range market too. And there's a way to trade in the range market by uh, Ichimoku lines. Like I mentioned, when Kijun Sen goes flat, the market might retrace backwards to Kijun Sen. So in this case, if you want to sell, uh, this is not good timing. But if you want to sell, you might want to wait for the support level breakout in the forward chart or Tenkan Sen break in the forward chart, which is support line breakout will be 0.8437. And once the market breaks support, then uh, you can look for the sell chance. So uh, yeah, technically you can t take trades on the retracement back to Kijun Sen in higher time frames, but uh, yeah, usually I prefer to stay away because I prefer to follow the trend directions to expect more than 100 pips or 150 or even 200 pips in profit. Yeah, let's see. Kush, thank you for joining. Great to see you here again. And let's see. Carbon says, uh, you don't use Fibonacci in the daily time frame. Uh, yes, I do. I do use Fibonacci in any time frames. But when it comes to uh, uh, entry edge, I only use Fibonacci in the lower time frames. So what that means is that, for example, in the forward chart, of course, we can draw the Fibonacci from low to high. 
like this and um, the market may retrace back to either one of these levels either 23.6 20, or 38.2 or 50 or 61.8 percent it may bounce and it goes up and that may be true but uh, these bounces are for example are uh, for for me these are only for the bigger picture but uh, these are not for the trading edge for me so even if the market bounced on one of these levels in the future i don't really take this as entry confirmation but once again to see the bigger picture i use fibonacci in the higher time frames too or i use even a fibonacci extension these are 138.2% level or 161.8% level in higher time frame to capture roughly when the market starts to retrace. So I have two mindsets. One is seeing the chart in the bigger picture and the other is I see the picture in the lower time frames to look for a trading edge. So depending on which time frame I use and I look at I choose different indicators and different lines and tools in terms of price action I do use it and I do look at them in any time frames because price action is a rule and it works on any time frames but uh, yeah when it comes to looking for the entry edge I'm very specific on which tool to use all right uh payson good to see you here all right irene says usdjpy all right let me check usdjpy um let me check the daily time frame daily time frame is now still ranging uh kumo is flat jijun sen is flat still chikou span has been touching so there is no direction but uh I am waiting for the break of this descending trend line and once it breaks it can go up continuously so I'm just waiting for the breakout of this trend line until then I simply stay away and in the forward chart it is ranging too this is in the P wave range so uh, we have to wait for the breakout and why I expect the market breaks bullish is that the uh, if you look at the weekly time frame it has been bullish the market is above Tenkan Sen Tenkan Sen itself is turning bullish and Senko Span A is also bullish Senko Span B is also bullish and Chikou Span above candles so the probability for the market to break bullish is relatively higher in this case based on the weekly time frame and that's why I expect the P wave break bullish in the daily time frame but until it happens, I wait. Because if it doesn't happen, then uh, it may turn bearish and breaks Kumo. And it may continue to go down this way. And it may retrace back to the weekly Kijun Sen. So uh, I basically have to wait for a breakout and then look for the buy chance. That's my USDJPY. And that's what I'm waiting for right now. So yeah, once again, today is Monday and looks like markets are kind of quiet. But uh, it's nice to see charts and it's nice to analyze the charts because we might see any moves tomorrow or sometime this week. And, but, uh, and by remembering what's happening in the market right now, like this on Monday, then we can psychologically prepare and the things can happen, you know, this week. So I don't mind screen charts and creating these scenarios on Monday uh, just to prepare for myself, just to get ready for uh, fishing. You know? Trading is like a fishing, so or hunting, I would say. All right, Sam says, uh, sell gold by platinum prices low now. Promote platinum prices, risking like gold. Okay, I think that's the. You know, uh, that's the world in general. Let me check gold and see what's happening right now. Okay, gold, daily chart, 
still gradually bullish. So the market has been bullish since 31st of January, but uh, this move is not really so strong. Still gradually moving up, and um, I don't think it will be continuously be uptrend. Now that the market is on the Kijun Sen and Senko Span B level in the daily time frame, so from here it may be trace. So what I'm waiting for is I wait for the market breaks Kijun Sen in the daily and uh, may continue to look for the buy chance. Yeah, otherwise it may reverse and P wave may break bearish also. But uh, yeah, at this stage we can't tell which way it's going, so simply I stay away in this case. So I'm very picky like this. I only be in the tr be in the trace where there is a market trend directions. Otherwise, I simply stay away. Um, let me check flower chart. It may be bullish. Uh, yeah, not yet, not yet. The market is within the Kumo. So we have to wait for the Kumo breakout and Kumo twist and Kijun Sen above Kumo to buy. So, and it takes time for that to happen. So simply I stay away from for now and focus on other Forex pairs. Okay, John Harris says, uh, Really? So you always confirm when Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen cross instead of waiting for the confirmation on the Sanyuku Koten? That's new for me here. Okay, yeah, that is true. That is true. Well, we can take Sanyuku Koten, Sanyuku Gyakuten signal to trade, and you can look at the lower time frames and look for the entry chance. But uh, as for myself, I wait for the Kijun Sen angle to buy or sell. Yeah, based on my back test, it gives me higher performance, and that's why I do it. All right, Paul, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Okay, John Harris says, uh, Kason, you are about 300 subscribers away from the 50k mark. Oh, really? Okay, so it's 300. It may reach within this February, so once it reaches, I will do some special live stream. A very long period, maybe five hours, six hours long live stream, and uh, yeah, I will continue to run the live. And within the live, in five hours, six hours, if I see some good trading opportunities, then I will. I don't mind enter the market. So maybe we can trade together and learn from each other in that way. Yeah, so let's see. Let me cover some other comments now. Arin, you're welcome. Yeah, gold testing Senko Span B. Yes, it is testing Senko Span B and also Kijun Sen in the daily. So we have to wait for the breakout. And what I mean wait for the breakout is that you have to wait for the candle close comes above Kijun Sen. Yeah, otherwise you might see pin bar and from tomorrow, it may reverse. All right, uh, Lavarkiri says, Hi K, do you, uh, you wait for the market break resistance level. After that, what is the indicator for you to get entry? So I look for three confirmations every time I trade. So I would either look at the Bollinger Bands or Stochastic Cross or Fibonacci Bounds or Trendline Bounds and Price Actions to get the entry edge. And you can actually uh, see my overview of my strategy on the free PDF and free video. If, you can, uh, if you're new to my channel, if you can come to uh, my website. Let me quickly introduce, uh, because I think this is important for everybody who joins my live stream. So if you come to my website and hover over on free download and KTS, click on this KTS, Pays Trading Strategy, then uh, you will find a page where you can download the free PDF of my strategy and also you can watch the video of my strategy too. So basically every day on my live stream, I talk about the markets based on my strategy. So uh, 
just feel free to download and uh, yeah, just uh, feel free to learn my strategy. Oh, I just realized that the, the number of downloads right now is more than 13k. So that's a lot of uh, downloads. I just realized that. But uh, I keep revising um, this uh, the, the free PDF. And last update was made uh, November 21st last year. So if you still have a PDF before November 21st, uh, please feel free to download the new version. And uh, yeah, you can have my latest strategy. Because I minor changed my strategies over time. So uh, because market is changing every month and every year, it has been changing. And if I keep using the same strategy over and over again for years, then it may not work in the future and it may not produce you know, as big profit as previous. So that's why I might not change my strategies and um, I, uh, you know, I change the way I see charts and the way I confirm the market trends and the way I confirm the entry edge. So, uh, you know, I don't think no strategy will work, you know, for 100 years. Obviously, the market moves changing, so uh, we have to also change as market changes. But uh, make sure that you don't change big. You know, you have to minor change, small change, and fine tune and refine your strategy and polish your strategy along the way. And uh, I think that's also very important if you want to be a consistently profitable trader. So, yeah, so every time I update, you will see the latest update here. So uh, if you have the old version still, then uh, please feel free to download the new version here. Yeah, so this is a Kaizen mindset, right? Uh, in Japan, we say Kaizen, constant improvement. And I think this is also necessary skill to have if you want to be a profitable trader over time. And it's fun. It's fun to find an uh, area to improve so that you can have better performance in the markets. Okay, so let me come back to some other comments now. Uh, let's see. Sam says, uh, Kason, from your experience, is it a high probability chance taking a trade based on Kijun Sen retracement after the price has broke in Kansen? Usually, only takes trades when Fubata one or is trending. Um, for my experience, Kijun Sen retracement is lower probability. Low probability for winning and low probability for getting higher risk and reward ratio. So yeah, myself, I prefer to follow either one hour, sorry, either Fubata chart or the daily chart trends. And so when I capture, when I trade, when I trade, the retracement is when I have time and also if I simply feel like to. Yeah, otherwise I stick to higher time frames and prefer to follow higher time frame directions. Yeah, so here is the EuroCAD and the market was reaching to the top resistance 1.4645 and now it's retracing. So yeah, this example also shows that the, the market may be traced back to Kijun Sen in the daily time frame. So the target will be, if you sell, the target is going to be around 1.4369 level. And if you start to see downtrend in 1 hour 30, then you can take that. So let's see. In 1 hour chart, the market is still above Kumo. But uh, we have two signs, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Dead Cross, and Chikospan break. So once the market breaks Kumo, and also when you see Kumo twist in Kijun Sen down, then you can start to look for the sell chance and target to the Kijun Sen in the daily chart over here. Or if you can take the 30 minute chart, oh, looks like 30 looks good. 30 minute chart is now turning bearish below Kumo. And the Senko span A is going down, Jun Sen is going down, 
and Chikou span below candles. So you can look for the sell chance and follow a 30 minute chart downtrend and target to the daily Ijun Sen. You see? But uh, because this is 30 minute chart, um, it might spike. And without any reasons, the market might go up and down, very spiky. So uh, you have to have a good risk management to sell and hold until the market comes down to daily Kijun Sen. So in this case, to be safer, I will wait for the support level breakout in 30, which is 1.4527. Once the market breaks that level, then I look for the selling edge. So this is like a multiple time frame mindset by Ichimoku. So uh, you can take either you know mid time frame or higher time frame to follow. But personally, I prefer to follow higher time frame directions. All right, and John Deepak, thank you for joining. Great to see you here. All right, Dewey says, uh, good to see you without the annoying noise. Stay gold, stay healthy, everyone. Oh, you saw my tweet? Yeah, today, this morning, uh, there was a big noise. Big, big noise from upstairs. I think they're doing some maintenance work. But uh, yeah, I was actually uh, yeah, uh, blaming to, uh, the issue to the concierge because the noise was too big. So uh, yeah, but now it's it's quiet, obviously. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Kush says, uh, hi K, do you have a download for recording, uh, recording trace so we can improve as traders by reviewing our results? You can see a couple of my previous trades also. Maybe you can search ForexK and live trades and you can see some videos about my live trades in the past yeah Marcus says uh, please update us whenever you update the PDF okay I will I will whenever I update the PDF then I will announce it somewhere in this uh, in this uh, top page of my YouTube and I will notify it uh, on announce it on live stream and also I will also announce it on the YouTube post yes Deepak says okay can you please tell how you plan for the trace yeah that one you can also find my previous videos and but speaking about this this market a uh, euro CAD it looks good in the 30 minute chart it's going down so let me quickly look for the trading edge to sell. So what I usually do is, and what I recommend for everybody is to wait for the break of the support and look for the sell chance because it gives you higher probability for the market to go down continuously. But for me, I don't mind placing the sell before the breakout because I have a good risk management and I know exactly when to exit. So, yeah, let me check the five minute chart and discuss where I would enter the market in this case. So, here's five. And I see. Um, so, usually I look for confirmations to sell. Confirmations. So, this is downtrending in the 30 minute charts. So, I'm looking for the sell chance. And that means I always look for where to sell. And I never look for. Or to buy so for example i never take gold cross on any indicators and i never take engulfing breakout towards bullish side but i always look for the selling edge so with that in mind if i look at this chart right now i see one bollinger band squeeze and bollinger band squeeze i take it also as one of the confirmations and also this is downtrending, reverse in waves. So downtrending in five in chart two. And this is what I also notice. This is nice. Um, highs getting lower and lows getting lower. So it can continue to go down, break support 
and continue to go down this way. So that is captured by this consecutive reversed end waves and also I usually take uh, this kind of trend line. Counter trend line um, because when you have kind of trend line that means the market is going bearish in wave in five. So that's the second confirmation. So I take a uh, Bollinger Band, uh, Bollinger Band squeeze, and also kind of trend line breakout, and then I look for the third confirmation. So the third confirmation could be the Fibonacci bounce. I will take, I will enlarge a chart like this way. And if you see the chart like this, you can see the uh, reverse end waves. And I focus on the most recent reverse end wave, which is this one. Well, this one hasn't been a reverse end wave yet because it hasn't broken the support, the, the low yet. So this is not yet the reverse end wave but potentially it will because this is bearish so if i if i want to see so my my focus now is whether this bounce is valid or not whether this bounce this uh retracement is valid or not for this continuous reverse end wave and to see if this is valid or not i use fibonacci level fibonacci bounce so I take Fibonacci level and this is in 5 minute chart and I take the most recent high in 5 and the most recent low in 5 and I take the Fibonacci levels like this and I can exactly see that these two bounces were from 6 to 1.8% and this was valid. It was valid. Usually, you know, when the market broke 61.8% level and it goes backwards like this, it may go up from here, like this way. But because the market was rejected at 61.8%, um, there is a higher probability for the market to keep going down and mark the next reverse end wave from here. So that was also a good confirmation to sell. Yeah, so like this, I build up the confirmations as it goes on and I build up my confidence for the market to continuously go down this way yeah and if I don't see confirmations then simply I stay away from this market so now looks like we have uh, we have a, a band squeeze as one of the confirmations and can a trend line breakout as second confirmation and Fibonacci bounce for the third confirmation. So usually if I see three confirmations, I take the sell. But right now, as I monitor the chart, the market is a bit bullish. This candlestick right now is a bit bullish. So uh, to be safer, I prefer to wait for the next candlestick to be bearish. Next candlestick to bearish like this. And there might be engulfing. There might be inside bar like this. And I prefer to wait for the inside breakout to sell in this situation, in this particular situation. Because the reason is that the market is now retracing backwards in 5 and also this is near support level. So I want to confirm a bit more to sell from here. And also I'm following only 30 minute chart and I don't see any downtrend in higher time frames. So, in this case, uh, this is just based on my experience. This is just based on my experience. I prefer to wait for the downtrend confirmation a bit more. But usually, I take three confirmations to sell. So, let's see which way it goes from here. Yeah, thank you for joining everyone. Great to see you here. Kevin Fibonacci says, uh, KTS is powerful, but always hit the stop loss based on the 5 minute chart, then goes to my bias. Please help me to set proper stop loss. So if I sell right now, then I take a stop loss 
in between 15 to 35 pips. So let's see. Uh, if I sell right now, then um, my stop loss would be. This is only 14, 13 pips, the most recent high. So usually I take the second previous high. So this time I take the 32 pips for the stop loss and sell right now. So, yeah, I think if you are stopped out every time, then most likely the stop loss is too tight. Make sure you have enough room to the stop loss and uh, enter the trace every time. I used to have very tight stop losses. Like I used to have like 10, 10 pips or 12 pips only the stop loss. Sometimes it was less than 10 pips. And every time I enter, the market goes backwards and hit the stop loss. So I decided to have wider stop loss. So I would say in between 15 to 35 pips is acceptable. But if it's too wide for the stop loss, then you have to decrease a lot sizing to trade to make it 2% to the stop loss. So um, I recommend to have, I recommend not to have too wide stop loss. Yeah, Basam, you're welcome. All right, Jalash, thank you for joining. Great to see you here. Let's see. Yeah, um, John Harris says, what is your Twitter? Uh, you can see my Twitter account uh, from yesterday's live. Yeah, I posted the link for the Twitter on yesterday's live. So you can check that. Okay, so looks like now it's going down. So I think this is now a good time to sell. So if I sell right now, then I put the stop loss this time here. This is 22 pips for the stop loss. So if I sell right now, then I put the stop loss here and expect the market break support. And continue to follow 30 minute chart downtrend in this direction. So we'll see if it happens or not. But in case if you want to trade uh, in the live stream, please Make sure that you know this content is all on my on my own experience. So please do please take trades at your own risk, as always. Okay, so let's see. So it is breaking now. So let's continue to monitor. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yeah, let me check some other, some other charts after we monitor what happens on this chart. I think we better stick to this chart right now because it's just going down. So uh, once again, if you're new to uh, today's live stream, we are on the Euro CAD. And what we're trying to do is uh, first, if you look at the daily time frame, uh, the market is retracing back to Kijun Sen after the resistance of the previous high from the 20th of December last year, today the market is retracing backwards. And potentially, it retraces all the way back to Kijun Sen in the daily. So Kijun Sen daily chart is the ultimate target for now. And with that in mind, if you look at the 30 minute chart, uh, this is going down. You see Kumo down. Tenko span A is going down. And Kijun Sen is also going down. And Chikou span is below the candles. So this is showing bear strand in 30 minute chart. So if it continues to go down, then um, ultimately it reaches to this daily Kijun Sen. Yeah, daily Kijun Sen. So after you confirm this downtrend in 30, then you look at the five minute chart. And what I usually do is I take confirmation to sell. And the confirmations I took to sell right now is first, I captured this downtrend reversed in waves, downtrend. So uh, this downtrend was captured by this, uh, what I call candle trend line. This is called Canada trend line because this line is against the direction of the trend. So this is called 
counter trend line and counter trend line breakout was one of the signs to sell and also the bands were squeezing we were seeing Bollinger Band squeeze so that was the second confirmation and then for the third confirmation I took the Fibonacci bounce I was seeing that this was a reversed in waves like this reversed in wave and on the last in wave last potential in wave it wasn't reversed in wave yet because it hasn't broken the support yet but when I saw this potential reverse in the wave, I wanted to see if this bounce was valid to create the next reverse in the wave. And to see that, I was using the Fibonacci bounce from the most recent high and most recent low, like this. And I saw it was 61.8% bounce. So that was my third confirmation. And then, um, afterwards, as we monitor, as we see this candlestick, it was a bit retracing. So to be safer, I waited for the next candlestick. The next candlestick went downwards, and that's why we took the sell. So from here, in a stop loss, 22 pips above, and this is the trade right now. And hopefully, the market broke support, and now we can expect the market continuously Go down this way or it might retest the support it might test the support and continuously go down this way too but once the market goes backwards and goes up on the bullish wave or if you see any sort of retracing confirmation then you better exit very soon so let's continue to monitor until the end of this live and see which way it goes but uh, yeah, this is basically how I take the trade. Every time I see charts, uh, every time I confirm the trend directions by Ichimoku, then uh, I go down to 5 minute chart or I take 15 minute chart also. This time I only took the 5 and saw 3 confirmations, so simply I enter the trade. But if I didn't see 3 confirmations in 5, then I go up to 15 minute chart and see. Uh, look for three confirmations and if I don't see three confirmations on either time frame then simply I stay away but today I think it was a good, good example that uh, we had three confirmations so I think uh, I'm glad to show be able to show the good entry edge example today so now the market is going down so let's see how far it goes Let's see. Robert says, have you ever used super trend indicator? Uh, no, I have never used super trend indicator. I've heard that name, but I never used that one. Tyrant says, hi K, when you use stochastics in 5 minute chart and you see a gold cross from 15 minutes ago, do you still use that signal or wait for another gold cross? Most likely I wait for another gold cross to happen. Or I still simply take another confirmation to buy or sell. Another confirmation to buy. Yeah, I wait for that. So our entry was here. At 1.4530 was my entry. And stop loss was here. In this particular trade. So this is sell position. And this is stop loss. Uh, Milo says, uh, can you still take can a trend line break if the market is goes in the P wave after the break? Uh, no. If you see P wave, then you can't take the can trend lines. You only take can trend lines when it's when the market is going in waves. Because kind of trend lines are to capture the N waves, not the P waves or other waves. Sam says, Kason, if one of our chart is trending strongly according to KTS, why not take the trade directly 
on one hour candle or four hour chart candle uh, because because uh, it may go backwards if I only take one hour or four hour candle and stop loss may be very wide if I take higher time frame so I prefer to go to lower time frame and capture the stop loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you you can wait for the second candle kind of close confirmation. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine too. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, you know, market market or any trace, any trace is all about the probabilities. So you only trade when probability is higher, and when the probability is lower, then simply you better stay away. Is a mindset. Okay, so let's see. Right, Al Harris says uh, that is a new technique will increase our opportunities in the market, but with low risk. Yes, you better take low risk per trade on this one. You only take one percent risk for this trade. Yeah. All right, uh, Mahadeo and uh, Izurux, thank you for joining. Great to see you, and Basam, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, let me check some other markets uh, until the end of the live today. Oh, so let's see. We'll come back to this, this chart again. So let, let me just remind. Let, let me just mark here. So I will split the window like this. And um, we're going to come back to uh, Euro CAD later. So uh, yeah, let's see. We monitor the chart, and on the right, let's screen some other pairs. So let's see. Euro Swiss Run is also retracing backwards, and USJPY is exactly in range P wave, and USCCAD is also range, and USCC Run is also ranging. Yeah, looks like all the markets still ranging. I've screened the charts maybe five hours, six hours ago, but ever since, looks like all the markets are ranging now. You see, pound cat is also retracing back to Kijun Sen. So if you see downtrend in lower time frames, you can follow and target to Kijun Sen on this one too. Pound AUD is retracing, but I see Kumo's up, Kijun Sen is up still, so the market may continue to go up still. So let's see. Pound is ranging flat right now. And AUD USC is also ranging. Yeah. AUD CAD is bearish, but today is retracing. So no trends right now. Yeah, looks like all the markets are ranging. So yeah, we don't see any opportunities right now in higher time frames. So, okay, uh, Simple says, uh, please check US 30, all right? Dow Jones, let me see. Okay, Dow Jones is still ranging. I see daily chart shows Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat. So the market is basically ranging, so we better stay away. From here, we can't tell which way it's going. So, yeah, it's range, basically. Um, let's see. This is uh, Nasdaq. Nasdaq is also ranging, but it may be traced back to Kijun Sen. You see Kijun Sen flat in the daily Nasdaq also, so it may be traced back to Kijun Sen. But we'll see. Uh, okay, so here is S&P 500. This is also ranging. The market is on the Kijun Sen, and Kumo flat. Kijun Sen itself is also flat. So this is basically ranging right now. Um, yeah, looks like the indices are also um, in range. All the indices are range right now. So yeah, there is no significance on any index. Okay, uh, Chuck Pan says, uh, 
every color tab what it means to you in front of symbol list. Oh, this one's orange is uh, the color for the flower chart trend, and uh, purple is for the weekly trend, and red is for the daily trend. Yeah, so I color all the charts depending on which time frame we see the trends. Yeah, simple. You're welcome. All right, Rashmi says, uh, please give your views on Nifty Bank. Nifty Bank today there was a sharp sell, but on the daily time frame, Kumo is up. All right, let me check. Nifty Bank. I think I have it under index, maybe. Oh, Bank Nifty. Yes. Okay, so here is Nifty chart. So yeah, Kumo is up. As Rashmi mentions, Kumo is up right now. And uh, Kijun Sen is pointing upwards. And Chikou span above candles technically. But the market is retracing backwards. Then I can see that the market is on the Senko span B. And also Tenkan Sen right now. So it may be supported at Tenkan Sen, Senko span B. And it goes up. Because Kumo and Kijun Sen are going up right now. So this is bullish still. It's bullish. But when you start to see the market goes into Kumo, then you better stay away. So that's the bank Nifty. And let me check Nifty 50. Um, yeah, Nifty 50 has been downtrending today. But it's within the Kumo in the daily time frame and Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span touching. So this is range. And we can't see which way it's going right now in this market. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess, uh, yeah, I will end the live. Oh, let me review what's happening on the Euro CAD in the end and end the live stream for today. So Euro CAD in the five minute chart time frame. Looks like market is still bearish. It has been engulfing candle, but uh, it, this is still bearish. Nicely, it broke the support as we expected. So afterwards, it may retest the previous support, which is 1.4530. And then continuously go down this way. So uh, yeah, we can continue to monitor after this live stream ends today. And uh, we can discuss what happened tomorrow on this one. So uh, let me put the vertical line where we enter the market. So uh, yeah, we can discuss tomorrow what happened. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for today's live. Yeah, Rashmi, you're welcome. And Carbon Fibonacci, you're welcome too. Yeah, so uh, I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed today's live stream. So uh, yeah, looks like the number of subscribers now about to reach 50K. So once it reaches 50K, then I will do another special live stream, special long live stream. And uh, yeah, I will look forward to do that. So uh, yeah, the market is not really active today. So if you're not confident, then simply leave chart and come back tomorrow. I think that's fine because market is moving every day anyways. So uh, yeah, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. And uh, have a great trading week this week also. So uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.